And we're going to start with a new notebook. And we will go and name this new to do two. And you'll see that pops up. Of course, it always adds a space there. I think it thinks those words need to be separated. So new to do two, and I hit create. Now what's cool here, and like I said, I kind of wish this wasn't here, uh, but at the same time, I don't really need the check boxes. I could just do lines and freeform this if I want to. It's really up to you how you organize it. But let's say, you know, I do want to have this one still be due on 9-28-2024. And we'll call this new to do two. The cool part is, and this is how easy it is. Pull this down into frame a little bit more. I have my lasso tool. I'll circle it. And then first thing we want to do, let's say, well, let's make it a header. So we go ahead, we make the header. Now you'll see it's a header. So we have that right there. Now we circle it again. And we want to make it a keyword. So just for fun, let's make that a keyword. Now you'll see new to do. And again, it put the space. So we'll correct that. And now you have that keyword. So again, if you go here, you have the title or the header, you have the keyword. And of course you can look by keyword or you can look by page. So those are two, got those taken care of. Now we circle it again and we say calendar to do. And again, we'll get rid of that space. We'll go ahead and add the date for the 28th. Hit confirm and hit add. And they fixed this, so this now will shove us back to the task list. Now, we've created all of those things in just a few, you know, a minute or two. Circle it one more time. And again, you can go as deep or as light into this as you want to, but it gives you a lot of flexibility. And you say, let's do a calendar event. It's going to recognize it. We're probably still going to have that space. Yep, there it is. And you're going to say all day event. When you do that, then you'll just want to select 28th, confirm. 28th and confirm and then say okay now it brings us back again to this note so let's just add one new page just kind of show you to show you how easy that is so let's say our first task is new page 2 and we want to turn this into a link so we go ahead and select our lasso we say we want this to be a link, another page in the current file. We can insert before, after, doesn't really matter, completely up to you. We'll insert it after, and then we can either click directly on it or just say OK. And now we'll go to that page, and we will make this a note page, because that seems to make a little bit more sense to me. And we will go ahead and do our 8 millimeter ruled. And this is new page 2. And we will lasso that. Move it a little bit, get it a little bit more centered. And create that as a header. And let's go ahead and make it a keyword too. So now we have just created, and let's look at this. We There's our keywords because it defaults to the last thing you looked at. You can see what pages they are. You can do them by the words themselves and it'll tell you the pages. You can go to headings. You'll see there are both of those headers. So from a subtask and task perspective and note pages within a task or within a larger project, 
it's starting to really take shape. And then what you can do is now we've created the structure. So this is what our structure will look like for this particular, this particular task and subtask or this project and some of the related tasks. And again, this is customizable. You can do pretty much anything you want with it. So we will go to the to-do list and what you'll see is that went into the inbox. So everything kind of defaults to the inbox. But again, you'll see our little notebook icon there. We'll press on this. We'll say move, and then we'll move that to social. Now we're in social. There's our new to do too. It's ready to go. We hit our little icon. It takes us back. There it is. And if we go into our calendar, you will see there is new to do too. And that stays the same in that view, but when you go to the daily, there are the three tasks. Pretty awesome. I mean, to me, that is, I, I've used the term game changer plenty, but that really is. It's amazing what this is doing. Now, if you could just write on the daily view, that would be even more awesome. But let's take a look at how this looks on the desktop app. Here we are with the two interfaces. So you'll see here on the left,